Morning everyone and welcome to uh, the first video in a while. I've been on holiday which was greatly needed. We went to Portugal for a week um, which was really relaxing. Um, always good to get away and recharge the batteries but now we're back and I'm um, ready to get cracking with some videos and commissions and custom action figure goodness. So. Today we've got some Star Wars characters, uh, quite a colourful bunch as you can see. So we've got a commission for uh, one of my regulars, we've got a modification for me and what I'm calling a failure uh, in the, the blue faced guy at the back. So we'll start off with... Uh, this guy. So this is um, my version of Starkiller from the Force Unleashed video games. Arguably the best Star Wars video games um, aside from the Old Republic um, that have been made so far. Um, and just an awesome character. So this is Darth Vader's secret apprentice and in the game he's just ridiculously powerful but he's he's cool he goes on a journey um he slowly sort of finds the light side of the force and he inadvertently through his actions creates the rebel alliance so it's uh sort of uh, shows a little bit of the incompetence of uh, and the hubris of the Emperor and Vader. Um, they inadvertently cause their own destruction in the game. And he's... Uh, one of the cool things is every level that you play... We're just losing focus here. There we go. Every level that you play in the game has him in a different costume. And my favourite costume was the Raxus Prime um, costume. So it's this sort of heavy Sith training gear. So it's all raggedy and weathered. And this figure was available um, in a, I believe it was a five-pack, a Toys R Us exclusive about 11, 12 years ago. But it had the sort of the legacy era articulation so what i've done is i've completely cut him in half from the uh, this this area here which it does still it still maintains some motion um obviously not at the moment but um that's because he's got this big rubber you know, belts, lots of different belts crisscrossing, but there is articulation in, in that middle part. From the waist down is acid rain. Um, so you've got the double knee and the thigh swivel and um, just more articulation than he did come with. He has joy toy legs with um, Star Wars... I forget the character. Oh, it's it's Cal Kestis. Cal Kestis shoes. And he has a Boss Fight Studios head, the bald head. Uh, and again, it this scarf limits the articulation. Take it off. And you see what I've done? I cut the I cut the neck ball off, dremeled into it so it would fit with the um the boss fight head and nothing you sort of get this his face is all sort of dirty and uh flecked with mud so i i put uh some sort of oil he's on rax's prime so it's a dirty grimy planet so the face is all dirty and i somewhere here we go I made him a clean portrait as well. So without the, uh, is that going to focus? Well, yes. Without the mud and all your slicks on his face there. 
Um, I would have used the stock head that came with it, which um, was the a better likeness of the actor. But it was so small. It's like a it's a pea head. Look at the look at the size difference of uh, you know, it just a really small head. Um so yeah, I I wanted to sort of give him more sort of human uh proportions basically so let me put his scarf and head back on and there you go jobs are good and so i i'm happy with him um one of my favorite star wars characters ever and now i've got him fully articulated and uh, he can go on the shelf next uh this is a commission and i was thrilled to get this commission um because it's it's rarely that you get such an obscure character. This is Jackson from the 70s uh, Marvel comics. And uh, he's basically a green bunny in space. Um, lots of fun. George Lucas hates this character. Um, yeah. It's, it's like Marmite. You either absolutely love the fun swashbuckling comic book nature i mean this is this is a character that could only really exist in a comic but he is awesome um he did kind of show up in the clone wars as a skeleton which i think that was dave filoni and george lucas you know poking a little bit at the character but i i've always liked him I've always really enjoyed the weirder aspects of Star Wars. And uh, you don't get much weirder than a big green bunny in space with dual-wielding laser pistols. It's really cool. Um, he's on a G.I. Joe body. Um, there are various, various pieces and parts in there. Um, so he's got all the articulation you could want. Uh, and yeah, he's he's ready to go and go on some adventures with his big green bunny ears and his cute little button nose. And <laughs> yeah, lots of fun, this guy. So we'll put him over there out of the way. Now, this is a failure as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've spoke to you guys before about offcuts and what offcuts is it's when you when you make customs you end up with um bits and pieces lying around and you don't really want to waste them so i use them to bash things together kit bashing it's sometimes called and see if i can quickly in an afternoon make something and I wanted to just see if I could do a really quick and dirty Thrawn. Now, this character is, he will be in the vintage collection. Um, if you watched the coverage of um, the recent Star Wars celebration Europe, then you will know that this guy's going to be a big part of Star Wars going forward. Uh, from the Ahsoka trailer, he shows up. He's going to be played by Lars Mikkelsen, who's a fantastic actor. He was fantastic in Rebels, and he's one of the most beloved um, Star Wars characters. Um, yeah, of all time. Everyone loves Thrawn. I wanted to see if I could do something. I had, I believe, a cantina... Um, you know, the, the band, the cantina band, I had that torso lying around some, I think they're Han Solo boots and, uh, I, I very quickly sculpted on a few details and then used a Marauder Gunrunner's head that I would never have used, um, yeah, it, it was just in the bottom of my parts bin. And I thought, yeah, well, you know, it's not really Thrawn. He, I'd want him to be much skinnier. And um, 
But, you know, this was just a fun little in-between waiting for paint and putty to dry. Um, yeah, I don't like to feel like I'm wasting time. So I, when I'm waiting for things to dry and uh, in between projects, I, I tend to stick things together. So this is my stand-in, I guess. I'll, I'll put him on the shelf uh, until the vintage collection Thrawn is released. Um, but, I mean, you, you, from from a bit of a distance, I mean, the painting and the sculpting is quick and dirty. I can, I can do a lot better than that. Um, also, someone needs to tell me, all the Imperial officers, why do they have pens? <laughs> is it is it pens? Or is it like a stylus, you know, that they've got? Are they... Is it like Imperial doctrine that they have to have a pen in case they need to make notes? I don't know. Why do they have that? Um, but yeah, the, so what's missing from this figure, obviously, and, and it sort of... He reminds me a little bit of... Um, to know from James Bond because he doesn't have that belt he needs like the officer belt doesn't he I didn't consider that when I when I used the piece I was just sort of I think I was looking at the shape over the details um but yeah there he is uh standing thrown and when the when the new one comes out I might I might give this one away uh possibly on this channel maybe uh which brings me to the um the reason i'm sort of throwing this video out there um i'm new to youtube so i'm getting used to the uh you know the analytic things i don't really know what they all mean uh i'm getting there uh i'm getting help from people that know much better than me but it it has come to my attention that most people that watch these videos aren't subscribed. Um, when you start off on YouTube, you really want to be aiming to get to a thousand subscribers. And the thing is, if everyone that watched these videos had subscribed, we'd be there already uh, and we'd be well on our way. Um, but it, you know, through whatever reasons, um, like 85%, according to the analytics, 85% of the people that watch these videos don't subscribe. And um, it would really be awesome if, if you could just give us a click, subscribe, like, comment on those videos. Um, and if there's a video that you particularly like, Tell me in the comments and I can make more videos like that. Um, if there are figures that you want me to have a go, have a crack at making. Um, if there's a project that you uh, would love someone to tackle, uh, no matter how obscure, let me know. Maybe I can knock something together and then make a video about it. And, um, and we, yeah, we could do things like that. But I'd really appreciate it, guys, if you would subscribe to the channel and it really would help me out a lot. Um, and again, we, we'll grow this thing and see where it goes. I'm having a blast making these YouTube videos. I really find it very fulfilling and it's, um, it's awesome to have this, uh, this platform to put my stuff out there um i'm really passionate about this stuff it's a massive part of my life and uh, it's great to share it so so if you are interested if you are so inclined if you love action figures and custom action figures and sci-fi and all that good stuff give us a subscribe give us a like and a comment and uh i will see you in the next one all right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.